I did a show out of town in the country, actually, yeah. sort of in the country. It was in the country slash uh, a coastal area with a beach. At a certain age, when someone you don't know goes and you can stay at my place, you go, no. Like, I don't even yeah. know how to ask you in an appropriate way the, like, it would be rude for me to be like, well, is it a pull-out couch? Is it a bed? Like, Well, yeah, but I mean, it's also, <laughs> it's hard to navigate because you can't be like, how nice is your house? I don't send me photos. <laughs> is it on Airbnb or anything like that? Can I, do you have any references? I know. Do you have any exactly. other people who stayed with you that I can talk to? Are there to? any outlets near the bed? <laughs> like, what am I going <laughs> to? I have friends around the country. When I was on tour, frequently my friends would say, come and stay with us. These are people that I know and love and have stayed with, like on vacation, you know, yeah. to visit. And um, I did it for a while. And then... I found myself, uh, I was in a city. I, I hooked up with a friend of mine who was there. He was like, oh, come, I'll take you out to lunch. We'll go back to my place. We'll hang out in the afternoon. I was like, oh, great. And we went back there and he had his, he had his kid with him. Cute kid, maybe five years old. And, uh, you know, it ended up with us on the, on the floor playing Sorry or something like that. Yeah. And, uh, and about halfway through the game of Sorry, my friend looked at me and was like, this is not how you wanted to spend your afternoon, is it? <laughs> I was like, to be honest, no. <laughs> I love your child. I love you. But I didn't want to be sitting on a floor playing sorry with somebody in the middle of my uh, supposed rock star lifestyle. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> it takes and then me you out just, of it. You have to like do that quick transition about like, now I'm this person. Yeah, it's, exactly. It's Can't hard. stand it. Of course, what happens is that we drive out and we have a couple hours to kill so of course before the show so of course we go uh to this person's house to chill out and have a cup of coffee and uh just a game plan of how the show's gonna go and they have the most insanely beautiful beach house uh, oh boy <laughs> you blew it you that blew has it the, like a view of the ocean that is incomparable in a sense that you go did I not know that you guys are gazillionaires? And there was, of course, a room for me that would have been great and the room for my uh, fellow performer and friend that would have been great. And we got there and there was a spread out and I, we were both just like, we are idiots, but also we are damaged people. We are damaged people for not being able to tell the difference yeah. between an invitation and an invitation. If you had and... just stayed in that stranger's home, <laughs> You probably would not have been murdered and you would have slept late. And That's you would right. have been able to have that drink with, with your friend. A, with an ocean breeze just with caressing my breeze. cheek. All I mean, night. if the view is is good enough, a murder is okay sometimes. Exactly. Because at least you're, you're if I have a beautiful oceanfront view. <laughs> a murder is okay. And I've been fed well and the bed is nice and the pillows are really fluffy. I'll allow it. Oh, right. So basically, right, it's like, uh, well, if you want to murder me, take me for dinner first. Like, <laughs> come on, baby. dinner first, yeah. <laughs> good times, good times. Good, all this murder <laughs> stuff is staying in, right? Of course. 